All right, so in this problem, we are multiplying two decimals by one another. Now, when we multiply decimals, we just want to stack the numbers on top of one another. And currently, we don't have to worry about the decimals. So now let's multiply using long multiplication. So we'll take our first number 8 in, the, in our first column and we'll multiply by all the numbers above. So we have 8 times 6, which is 48. And 8 times, and I'm going to carry over the 4 and write down the 8 in the 1's place. And now we have 8 times 3, which is 24, plus 4, which gives us 28. Now we have 8 times 5, which is 42, plus this 2 above. 8 times 5 is 40, plus this 2 above gives us 42. And now we can erase the numbers that we carried over, and we're going to move on to our next column. We're going to start multiplying by 2, all the numbers above, and we're going to want to place a placeholder under the 1's place because we moved one column over. So now we have 2 times 6, which is 12. 2 times 3, which is 6, plus this 1 gives us 7. 2 times 5, which gives us 10. All right, so now what we have left to do is add all of our numbers here to get our final answer. So we have 8 plus 0 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. 1 plus 2 plus 7 gives us another 10. 1 plus 4 is 5. And 1 plus 0 is 1. So now, how do we know where to place our decimal? We're going to count up the numbers that we have after the decimal in both of our numbers, and we're going to move our decimal place accordingly. So we have one, two, three, four numbers after the decimal. So we're going to move one, two, three, four numbers to the left. So our final answer is going to be 1.50008.